Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at a very important concept in thermodynamics. Uh, it's called a TV diagram. And uh, so means Y axis is the temperature, X axis is specific volume, so that's meter cube per kilogram. Right. Um, and um, the way we draw um, is going to be we're going to draw a dome. So we're going to draw a constant pressure line. I'm going to start drawing that. Then we'll go explain. So this is constant pressure. So imagine if it's, uh, for example, this pressure is going to be one atmosphere pressure. OK, that's example. The reason I would use one atmosphere pressure because, and this is water, because we know water boils at 100 degree Celsius at one atmosphere pressure. Okay, so this dome have divide the region into three different regions. Anything on the left side of this. It's all here. This area is going to be called compressed liquid. And anything inside the dome, that's going to be a mixture we call saturated liquid and vapor mixture. So which means liquid and vapor coexist at this region. And on the right side of the dome, that's going to be superheated vapor. Okay. So what is the definition of compressed liquid? A compressed liquid, which means their temperature of this liquid is going to be less than the boiling temperature of this uh, liquid. For example, for water, for this situation, uh, it's going to be less than 100 degree. Okay, let's see. Let's put those numbers in this chart because we're using one atmosphere pressure. And this is going to be the boiling temperature. That's going to be called TSAT, saturated temperature. So here's a definition, TSAT. In the most common words, it's just boiling temperature. And the uh, saturated temperature is just a fancy way to say it. Um, so it's boiling temperature at this particular pressure. We know we think it, uh, we know like if you have a pot of water and uh, you have some kind of fire source underneath trying to boil this water right here, the temperature at the beginning might be you just take out this water from the sink, and let's say that temperature might be just a ten degrees Celsius. And so maybe somewhere up here, that's about 10 degree Celsius. And that's what we call compressed liquid. Because that temperature at one atmosphere, it's way less than the boiling temperature, 100 degrees Celsius. So now we're going to continue to add heat to it. So when we add heat to it, what happens? We're going to follow this line here. When you add heat to it, so the temperature increase, and you know specific volume increases just a bit until this temperature gets to this saturated temperature or boiling temperature in this situation it's 100 degrees celsius so at this first point if i call point a here what happened at point a at point a the first droplet of water starts to evaporize. Do you agree with me? 
you know, this giant pot of water liquid at 100 degrees Celsius right here, the first nano drop of the water start to evaporize. So we call this line right here, this line right here, it's called a saturated liquid, which means the liquid is saturated. The first droplet of that liquid start to become vapor. So we're gonna call that saturated liquid. Then, use our common sense. Go back to this pot of water. When you continue add heat to it, what happened to the water temperature? It continues stays at 100 degrees Celsius, right? When water starts to boil, it continues stay at the same 100 degree Celsius. But what happens? You realize water level starts to drop. You're gonna have less water because liquid water amount starts to reduce. However, the vapor, water gas, water vapor have been generated more and more, right? They come out they get into the kitchen. So more and more liquid has converted to the gas during the state, stage two. So stage two, it's essentially liquid and a vapor mix. I point to A, what happened? I point to A, it's all saturated liquid. And as we continue, Add heat, we're gonna get into more and more liquid converted to vapor until we get into point B. What happens? The last droplets of water have become vapor. So point B, it's all saturated vapor. All the 100% is vapor. All of them have become vapor. So B, if we are drawing this line here, that's gonna be our saturated vapor line. Then how about in the middle? Right here. That's gonna be half. Half of them are liquid and half of them are vapor. So in order to figure it out, what's the portion of it, we come up with a concept called quality. Quality has a symbol X. The definition is mass of the vapor over total mass. Total mass is what? The mass of the liquid, saturated liquid, plus mass of the vapor. Like we said, at point A, what happened? It's absolutely all liquid. So in that situation, the vapor amount is zero. So you know the quality there is zero. Then let's look at another extreme point, which is at point B. All of the mass have become vapor. So this is all of the mass vapor and the total mass, there's no liquid, it's complete to the vapor. So in that situation, X is gonna be equal to one. So if it's at this point, C here, it's right in the middle, you can kind of figure it out, the quality will be half, which means half of the vapor and half of the liquid, okay? So that's a good point to not understand about the quality. Then we're going to continue. We said when we continue add heat, um, you have this water, more and more liquid becomes vapor. The quality X increases from zero to one. However, during this time, the temperature stays at saturated temperature. Okay, so here we can come back to see the mixture is this temperature here, it's gonna be stay at saturated temperature. For this example, it's 100 degrees Celsius. 
earlier for compressed liquid the water you just take out from the sink to have it trying to get boiled and that water before it's reaching 100 degree all of this water will be considered as compressed liquid because T here is less than saturated liquid temperature which is 100 for the scenario for this particular atmosphere pressure now we continue we continue adding heat now there's no water in the pot but imagine if you are going to have some kind of heating source to heat up all those vapor that's coming out of the pot if you can heat up that vapor what happens that vapor temperature continue to grow that temperature you notice this is y-axis temperature grow and that temperature is what above that 100 degrees Celsius and that we get into region 3 so that's called the superheated vapor that temperature is going to be greater than our saturated temperature as your temperature grow what happened to our specific volume that also increases you know when you become gas become superheated vapor superheated gas you continue to expand you know when you continue to expand you're going to have more specific volume all right so that's telling us about this tv diagram let's go back to take a reca recap temperature specific volume diagram then you have a constant pressure line and as you continue adding heat you're going to go from compressed to liquid which temperature is less than saturated temperature that's like boiling temperature and until you're going to have a first droplet start to get evaporate start change to vapor and at that time still is 100 percent of liquid so your quality is zero then you continue at heat your temperature stays at constant temperature while more and more liquid become gas therefore your specific volume increases right because gas take more volume then you continue somehow be able to add heat to this satur uh, to this vapor then your temperature increases gonna be even higher than the saturated temperature and so is the specific volume okay now we're going to looking at another quick points we're going to quickly just draw a TV diagram now. So I was a dome. We know there are three regions, right? Compressed liquid, saturated liquid vapor mix, and the superheated vapor. And if we were to draw this constant pressure line, this is P1, pressure 1. That's a constant, constant pressure. Then if we're going to draw another pressure, P2, it's also a constant but this time you realize P2 is above P, uh, P1 is above to P2 and here I'm gonna say P1 is actually greater than P2 why is that because we said earlier in the previous phase diagram when the pressure goes up what happened to the boiling temperature the boiling temp is going to go up as well when the pressure go down the boiling temperature go down that's why when you like when you are at a high mountain you know when you're at a higher altitude the pressure goes down right when the pressure goes down we are trying to camping or cook something cook let's say you're boiling an egg you start to realize the egg starts to boil at like 80 degrees Celsius you know not at 100 because it's at lower pressure that's why when you cook something at lower pressure you actually have to cook a longer because the boiling temperature is lower you just take longer to cook okay so in this situation remember this point that's going to be our t sat a fancy way to see boiling temperature so that's t sat at pressure one this is going to be our saturated temperature at pressure two if p1 oh i got it wrong this is p1 this is p2 sorry let me see if i can do better 
So this is going to be at P1. This is at P2. If P1 is greater than P2, then your saturated temperature have to be higher, which in that situation it works because this Tsat1 is greater than Tsat2. Okay. All right, so that helps us understanding this TV diagram. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.